Hi everyone, this is Trojan coming to you once again. Um, happy Friday to everyone out there. I hope everyone is having a great weekend ahead of them. I hope they've got everything needed to, they needed to get done this week. Um, so uh, finally was able to connect with Purple Haze, who was just in the TTL Championship with Viking Mo. Um, and uh, he's looking to bounce back after um, after finishing second in that league. So uh, we decided to use the Matchmaker ROM uh, from Madison, uh, as, as the last few videos that we've done um, have proved to create some interesting matchups that aren't always commonly called. Uh, I would also classify this matchup in that category. So um, uh, I drew the San Diego Chargers, which is a team that um, has a great running back in Marion Butts, uh, has some decent receivers. The quarterback is a little suspect, uh, but you do have some stylistic options with Tolliver with that rocket arm, but not so much control. Um, and then you have Vlasic, who can uh, has a little bit more pass control to work with, has a slower pass delivery, and so things like JJ's are are easier to uh, pull off. So, um, and then on the Bears, Bears have a tremendous defense. Um, their uh, secondary is tremendous. Their linebackers are good, and their defensive line is very good. So, um, and then uh, offensively, they're really known as a running team. Uh, they've got one or two passing threats. Really, the main one is Neil Anderson as the running back. Um, you'll see he puts Johnny Bailey in as his main rusher in this game, and uh, we're just kind of sorting out. And uh, as I'm as I'm aligning my playbook. I want to start with Tolliver just so I can squeeze some things in um, if if he's close enough to a, a receiver where I don't have to wait for the ball to catch up. Um, uh, and then I also wanted some hitting power uh, to go with uh, Marion Butts at the bottom. So uh, instead of speed on the field, I decided to put uh, more hitting power and, uh, and here we go. So it looks like I'm getting the ball first. And Cox are the most hitting power, so I put in the backfield here for returning. And we are out near the 10. Start with the red gun, pass four. And we get around nine yards on this play. Come right back to it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always wondering how he's going to call against Marion Butts. And, um, you know, if he's going to be, it looks like he must have called run there. And uh, a, a poor throw. Uh, I think that might have mistapped there, trying to come back up to the top. Um, I should have thrown it anyway. I should have just taken my yard and moved on. And there's a jumping interception right away, so that's that's a risk when you throw with the Chargers, especially against that Bear secondary. So you really got to be careful and selective. I wasn't there, and I paid the price. Uh, second down here uh, is going to the pro set dive play, and uh, I do contain it initially, but one of his blockers frees up, popcorns me, so tapping didn't come into play. And uh, he takes Bailey into the end zone. So I'm down early after a turnover. Um, definitely an uphill. You don't want to be down against the Bears because if he can sit on pass all game, that's a that's a rough day for this this matchup. That their secondary against my receiving core, I'll take their secondary any day. And they're out to about the 14 yard line here. We're gonna try to <laughs> forget what just happened. And right back to pass four. Last possible moment, let the ball go. Get about 15 yards. See here, it looks like we have another run call. As soon as he runs away, um, I keep the icon on. Wide receiver two, let him catch it, get out of bounds, another first down. Put, 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 put. 
Marion Butts, run 3-7 yards, would have liked to get a first down there. He did does eventually bottle it up. And uh, I thought I was going to be done on that play. Uh, that was run two. And got a little blocker help. And, and uh, if Marion Butts gets free, uh, he's just about as good as any back in the game as far as getting to the house. He's fast. He's definitely an elite back in this game. So, thought I was going to be in trouble, was able to tie it back up. Um, I'm down possession because of getting the ball in the first half, so I'll have to get some stops, and hopefully I can get uh, some other big plays in this game. And I uh, continuously mix up who I'm going to use on defense in this game. I uh, just kind of didn't want him to lean on one play that he could use against me. Um, you'll see Tom Zach uh, overthrowing receivers in this game. Um, that was the first time. Here, take O'Neill and make sure the burn route is defended. And I, I don't know if he meant to go up there. He might have just accidentally bumped his button. I, I would have gone down. I, I, I let Anderson go a little bit. This time my call is run one. And uh, just if, if that if Anderson's a little bit closer, he possibly jumps up for that or dives. Um, but uh, lucky that it wasn't intercepted in that point um, with the secondary the, with, with Bird down below there. So not much on a punt return in Tolliver. Goes into bad, Velasco goes into good. Easy decision to make that transition. And I just look through to see if anyone's changed here. Um, I think we go back to the original configuration. Really the only uh, change that happens here is, is Vlasic. And when quarterbacks start getting into better conditions, uh, sometimes I get a little overconfident in what they can do. Here I wanted to see what kind of isolation I could get. I was hoping that uh, one of those blockers would bump Carrier off of me and it only got the three yards and I said, well, I had the look I wanted. Let's see if we can get it again. This time I get a few more yards, but just I'm sitting at third and one here. And I take a moment to think, what what do I want to do here that you know, he's not going to guess? And I hadn't called run one yet. I'm sorry, pass one yet. And just get my yards and, and, and move on here. Go right back to pass one, and um, I should have let it, let the receiver stop moving before I let go of that. I got a little excited, and then he ended up running forward. It could have been intercepted. Luckily, it was not. Go to a uh, pass three again. A little dance in here. Probably should have just went out of bounds. I thought I could maybe get around that bottom defender and get a first out of it. And I was really disappointed here because normally, um, at least in local play, I've been able to get that pass away. But it just seems like uh, in, for some reason, online play, when, I, when someone calls pass two on me for that run and shoot play, I just really struggle getting that away without getting tackled. Um, so here, just miscalculate a little bit. Uh, and uh, so he's got the ball at the 20. I'd really hope to pin him in there. I did, I did a good job winding the clock down with the punter, but... Not getting it inside the 20. Switch back to O'Neill here. Try to ball up, bottle up a run three. Uh, three yards against uh, that running game. I'll take that. You get a little bit of leg here. It does go away. It resolves. We had, you know, sputters here and there, but it's definitely a playable game. Uh, I've had worse. I've had a lot better. But uh, basically, I'm just trying not to get engaged here. I fail at the last moment. He's able to turn it into about an 8 to 10 yard gain to about a 25 yard gain like that. Put, 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 put. 
that it seems to be clearing up here. So, one thing I'm surprised, he threw into a coverage a lot, and I don't think we have an interception to show for it in this game. So here I'm just uh, dancing around waiting for help. I get it. I called pass that time, so that uh, worked out. Luckily he gets engaged there, and this changes things a little bit. Um, I, I think he would have gone for it if it wasn't so close to the end of the half. In an online fashion, I think he ends up missing this wide right. I'm sorry, well, I don't know why it was left there because the cursor was the top. But he misses the field goal. And we're going to try to heave it once into the end zone. 12 seconds, I didn't feel like I'd get close enough for a field goal attempt F with one play. And sometimes you get wide receiver two that gets behind the coverage, and sometimes when you've got a, a DB covering the top that he gets in front of the guy. So it's really hoping just for a situational JJ there. Um, it didn't connect. Gets the ball back, um, but other than that one uh, touchdown uh, after the turnover, been able to minimize his movements pretty well. Um, so uh, this is not a bad position to be in. Uh, he really, he hasn't gotten any significant sustained rhythm so far. Uh, going back to O'Neal here, defending Red Gun 1. And he tries to go to Anderson again. Real close, you know, so he's he's trying to get JJ isolated in the open. If if, if Anderson makes that catch and he doesn't get dive tackled, you know, he's off to the house. So it's, it's not a terrible uh, option. Now here's where I got confused. Uh, I thought he was over the line. To me, it looked like he was at the line of scrimmage. Um, maybe Brew Dog can tie in here. You know what? What's the frame? You know, uh, the data on that as far as when you can let that go. But definitely uh, got me out of position there. Here's another cold play. Covered um, uh, ball lands on the defender. No interception. Muster's in good, uh, so that'll help his receptions, um, which are already good at 50. Now they're at 56, um, and uh, that's his base stats, not um, going off of uh, what the player two conditions are. And then, the, uh, of course, his speed will pick up a little bit. So um, definitely makes a really good tight end uh, you know, coming out of the RB2 position into a tight end position. And I had a feeling he hadn't done this in a while, um, I picked run one more so not to take away that play, but to minimize the effectiveness of run two. And I was going to try to cover the field with uh, Bird and make him make a good throw. Here, I think he could have gotten it down to the tight end at the bottom. Um, elected to run for it. And he goes for it here. I think field goal is the right uh, decision here. Bounces it to the top. And uh, I think I also called run one on that play as well, just to uh, make running more difficult. Taking away the, uh, uh, the ability to get away with that speed of bird. And just doing a little dance in here. Uh, Butts is in bad at this point, um, so it's a little risky to stay in bounds with him. Uh, but I know if I break free, I might have a touchdown, even in bad condition. And I try the old, let's cycle all the way through trick here. He doesn't flinch at all, and uh, uh, he might have scouted me, I don't know. But he, he just sticks with the bottom guy um, and, and gets the interception. So bad decision on my part. I probably could have found my way to get into at least three points on that sequence, so uh, definitely a costly turnover. He's got the ball back. Uh, pass one call here. It looks like everyone's pretty much bottled up. I didn't want to uh, let anything develop down the field, again, with Anderson at the bottom. So um, he lets it go early. Get a, a, a jumping tip, but again, no interceptions um, for poor throws uh, so far. He goes to Anderson again. 
just overthrows it. So this is like a, a theme, overthrowing Anderson with Tom Zack. Get down with O'Neill. Um, I think earlier, if he had gone down to Anderson, I think that gets completed, and then I think he's off to the races. Uh, but he hesitates a little bit, comes back to muster by then. I'm in position to make that tip, so. And here, after tapping a couple times, I was just trying to get out of bounds. Uh, I, I just let it take me down at that point. Vlasic's an excellent. Um, so that's good. I've got really the, I can't complain about the offensive condition of my players even though Butts isn't bad uh, I've got an excellent quarterback I've got two receivers in good still have all the hitting power in the field maybe not the best decision uh, again with excellent and then Miller with 69 receptions um, really wanted to take a shot and see if I could get away If it hasn't been mentioned already, it's it's on the taps. There's no uh, there's no challenge there. Uh, it's definitely a one side of the, the coin there. Um, again, staying in bounds. If I can break one tackle, I might be off to the races. So it, having a lot of success moving the ball with butts, and I just decided to eat it there. Um, Again, with the ball control and excellent for Vlasic, is going to be above. I think he's going to be at 56. Um, I just, uh, I had already turned the ball over. I'd taken some chances already. It didn't work out for me. Make it a third and manageable. I don't know that he called this play at all during the game. Gage here, try to get away, just took a little longer. Um, another risk there, again, just trying to get into the end zone. Now, now that the clock is starting to get down a little bit in the fourth. I know he wants to bait that throw up top. You know, part of me really wanted to throw it, but I'm like, you know what? I could chip away here with Vlasic, so I do. So we go back to back to back on the uh, pass two. We'll just keep keep running with Vlasic. And with uh, Vlasic being excellent, he really squeezes that in there. Eric Walker stationary. And he's not covered by the time the ball gets there, so. So we take the lead in the fourth after being down 0-7 and down a possession. So liking, um, liking where we're sitting, uh, one thing that I haven't done a great job is, con is containing the run to this point. Um, and my thought is he might try to bust out a couple runs to, to get away. So I call run a, co a couple times here just to make sure that that doesn't happen. And he gets a burn route, and I I'm surprised here that Bird actually dies at this. Uh, but he does, and so there's a huge gain on this play. Um, and I called run again on here, but I did get some help. I kept it underneath. Overrun Morris again. Uh, again, you know, in my in my mind, I'm looking. I'm going to run into him, and then I get juked there. Uh, Bird uh, this time. Just trying to keep it all in front of me. Hoping he fumbles here. No turnover to speak of. Concerned about maybe a run up the middle here. So I took the nose tackle. I did pick pass on the play. And uh, that could have been a covered catch. We had um, a muster there with the good condition. Could not get uh, down... Uh, there, uh, with the uh, that's the first time I think he completes Daniel Anderson, uh, possibly the entire game, uh, but it counts. So, comes all the way down the field after having really no long-term success in the game and gets it when he has to. So, 
Uh, congrats to uh, Purple Haze in doing that. So we're looking like we're going to have an overtime game here. And uh, really with uh, this return uh, team against this defense, uh, just get out of bounds as soon as it's convenient. So we are in free football time here. Um, and he uh, wins the coin toss, so uh, nothing fancy here. Don't want an accidental onside. I'm going to go ahead and, and do a conservative kick. At, at this point, I'm discouraged what just happened, but I, I know that I've been able to hold him to this point, so I'm feeling good that I can tighten this up here. He sticks with pass, which is just uh, something I don't see a whole lot out of you know people to play with the Bears. But uh, he gets gets two yards there. Goes with run three. I'd, I'd really hope that um, that blocker would have been engaged there, um, but came to me instead of the the drone, so it allows him to get free there. So. Uh, kind of got a reset here, first down near the 30. Call pass on this play. And what I'm trying to do is just prevent uh, potential dive play. And I, I don't remember why I had the nose tackle on that particular play, it worked out. Oh, that, that hurt right there, because not only did he complete that diving uh, catch, but um, in good condition he's able to run away from me as he gets up. So he's getting really close here. He's actually able to get some drone help there, dodging around, no gain on the play. Luckily, uh, Tom Zach finally has an errant throw to a stationary guy. <laughs> um, keeps it uh, third and ten here. He's in field goal range already, so this is a problem. Um, here, basically, we're just going to make sure that you know, he goes over the line or gets engaged there. And so he's going to go ahead and try to win it here, fourth down. Uh, I do have Leslie O'Neill, so i got a shot to at least try to block this. It does not. Looks like the arrow's lined up. Close enough, bounces in. And good game to Purple Haze. So, a little back and forth there. Um, I think both of us could have played better than we did. Uh, but Purple Haze comes out on top. So, congrats to him. Uh, looking forward to playing him again uh, in the future. Um, interested your thoughts on this matchup. Um, is this something that you've seen called, uh, Ed Madison? Is this something that you've called in the tournament? Uh, which team were you? And uh, what, did, what did you like? Uh, what are your thoughts? Things we could do better to improve? Uh, I know for me, uh, looking back at this, I think it would have been a little wiser on offense to uh, spend, to be a little more methodical with Vlasic as opposed to just chucking the ball right away, um, uh, making better decisions there. And then uh, on defense, um, uh, just trusting my run defense on, like, on call and pass. But uh, you live and learn. Um, but uh, interested in your thoughts. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you did like it, give us a thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content. Uh, we have other videos with commentary with close games like this. And as always, we thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.